This review is of the Dang Almond Cookie Bar. It is non-GMO, plant-based, gluten-free, keto certified, and also kosher, so it's safe for Jews and Muslims. Um, here's the blurb from the guy who started the company. I don't know if you... All right, there you go. And here are the ingredients. It's made in Canada. Nutrition facts. And that's pretty much it. So let's find out what it tastes like. I doubt it looks like that. <laughs> Certainly doesn't feel like a cookie in terms of that shape. So, since it's plant-based, it is safe for vegans and vegetarians. For a... I was going to review another brand, but it had milk in it, and I was like, Nyeh. Now I'm only reviewing those if I buy them by accident. This I got at the at um, the food pantry I don't uh, donate time at or volunteer at. So it has that mild, um, kind of maraschino flavor that comes from sweet almonds. Now, you don't want to eat a sweet almond, because sweet almonds do have cyanide in them, I believe it is. Yeah, cyanide. If you eat enough of them, it'll kill you. But, the flavor, is fine. There's a bit of crunching, which I believe comes from poppy seeds. Sunflower seeds, chia seeds, okay. For reasons I don't understand, they have got um, cocoa butter in here. I don't taste any cocoa. One bar, 210 calories. 15 grams of fat, of which five are saturated. No cholesterol, 55 milligrams of sodium, 11 grams of carbs, of which 6 are um, fiber, 3 are sugars, not added. There are also 9 grams of protein. So this is actually, actually not bad for you, surprisingly. And the only, I think the reason that there are 5 grams of saturated fats is because of that cocoa butter. Now, personally, I wish they had made the almond flavor stronger, because I love that flavor. I mean, I love it. But, they didn't make it stronger, so what can a guy do? So I'll give this, um, I'll give it a seven. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.